TF Jack. Okay. Sure. Should be an interesting deck. Hmm. Sand is not that bad actually. Probably has a time trick. Maybe Pythos Mulligan as well. Sure. Probably these two. Mystic Shot could be kept. Potentially key of TF, but maybe I'll just stop away with Augment the Clock Lane. I guess Mulligan everything and just keep Augment the Clock Lane. As is a generic good card. Actually, maybe we should have kept Pythos because he might play the 1 cost 2 1 that gives him a coin. One, once it dies, right? So at least ping that. Don't take 2 damage turn 1. Pass here. Um, I guess I gotta play Octopus in turn 3. Sure. A bit sad, but it is what it is. He's wasting 3 mana as well, so. Mm, sure. Pythos. I think I attack first, right? Because he might go TF Gold card and tell off the clock lane. So basically force him to go TF Blue card here. Or Jack. Then I guess I go Victor. Because Victor could block Jack, right? Maybe if I want to. Or we'll see what potential high roll Victor would get with his keywords, right? The power creep is insane as well. Like a 2 4 and not a Jack is a 4 5 bash. Insane. Spell Shuri is interesting because his deck is not for pink spells, so Victor is extra safe now. Which is cool. Glorious Evolution. Could be able to potentially play it next turn, which is cool, I guess. Pass here. Victor would die. Well, something like tough. But then he wouldn't die the one uh, one damage spells as well. Would die the, like, uh, heavy metal, though. And Jack's champion spell, so. Um, impact. That's a pretty mediocre keyword, honestly. Make it rain, okay. I guess he tries to kill Victor here, potentially. It's annoying, not gonna lie. I think I'll just play Augment the Clock Link here. I guess Time Trick because I could potentially look for even better card, right? Since I have Trinket Trade for more Octopus. That's sure, why? Okay, pass. If he tries to damage Victor, then Jack will be able to be Mystic Shots. Because, you know, he's going down on one health as well if he tries to heal off Victor. Yep, he does go for it. I'll resolve this. I guess he has a Pink Garden. Warning Shot. Heavy metal, something along the lines of that. Two coins. Pytos, sure. He's off. Could he level jack here? No way. Three. Yeah, he can't. He's one mana off. A bit sad from here. Hey, we actually should have prank potentially go with Pytos, huh? Because I'm wasting one mana. Oh, wait, I can't go for it because. Ah, Gross Evolution is not reduced. Always thought that it was like at least nine mana. Sad, I guess. Should play another augment the clockling attack then, I guess. 5 mana, potentially 4 mana curious shuffle is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. Must kill that immediately, <laughs> not gonna lie. This is toxic as hell. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I need to kill that immediately, that's so annoying. I guess I got time trick here and just look for other spells potentially. Wow, interesting. Skip. What? I don't need two Glorious Evolution game. You suck. I guess I should not have gone for time trick actually. Because now I'm one mana off. Because I could have Pythos, Page 3, and uh, Machine Miss Mariah into Mystic Shot. Then she would have died here. So, a bit sad. I guess that's the case, I should just ping Jack because Jack still has bash, right? So if he open attacks next time, you could just push for 4 damage. And next turn, I just want to play Glorious Evolution. So, yep, ping Jack, still have mana for Glorious Evolution next turn and profit, potentially. We'll see. Victor, sure, what's up? That's Jack. Annoying. I'm gonna push a few damage. Ah. Not like I'm gonna play Curious Shellfork, right? That's even worse. I think a 4 4 just to block a 4 5. Who would actually die as well to spell, so I should just go for his evolution. It's an option to go Trinket Trade here, not gonna lie, but I would not like to go for that because I'm gonna pair it up with Mishi, uh, Curious, Mirror Mage or Curious Shuffle, right? So we'll see what happens. At least this buff uh, coin, this start gonna be doing all those spell shenanigans. Annoying. Really, really bad actually. Okay, sure, he needs to spend one more mana to level Jack basically. I'm guessing he has it. It'd be really annoying. Jack would also have overwhelm. It becomes no. five six. He puts a five damage. He doesn't go for it. He's just taking He's like attacking with Shimmer's right, which is kind of weird. Think I block, block, and block. Should be fine. 
probably just Mystic Shot this one. Hi, by Mystic Shot, he will get a coin, and once he coins, he level Jack as well, which is also a pretty bad idea. But I gotta Mystic Shot something, right? Because then I need to buff up Clock Links and the uh, Octopus, so these two will have to make a good trade. I guess I go for this. Yep, I kill off the barrel, right? Because next turn, maybe Curious Sharp Oak has a higher chance to actually survive, not gonna lie. I think I will just pass here. Oh yeah, because oh yeah, Jack itself once he strikes also get a coin. So I guess that was always gonna happen. Sure, pass. So actually, she really should kill that, but I think I actually still should have went to kill the battle, right? Because the battle was honestly just gonna be annoying as hell. Bruh. I'll do this. Man, Octopus is always the best because I'm also getting units. I already want to play Octopus then prank, so I could potentially buff them up as well. So be future blockers, big attacker blockers, right? But I think I should prank here honestly first to see what I can hit. Like that. I think that would honestly be amazing. Yeah. Um higher cost I don't know waters wouldn't hurt. Or make it rain. Actually make it rain might be high cost, maybe just quitting the game potentially because um next turn is night mana. How how your cell mana cell mana wait. Eight mana. Next one is nine mana. Nine. Ah, he could steal. He will go make it rain and reptile rex steal though. So I guess I just nerf iron and That's the case. Um, Victor's level. So I guess I play Victor. As humanity ends, the machines rise. At least I nerf like um the iron and Boros, and I see that he has only has a few spells, so he might not actually kill Curious Shuffle or Victor here. We'll see though. I'll play this because why not? Maybe Challenger, so I can pull off Machine Miss on the right and kill Killer. But Victor potentially will die though to phase 3. We'll see. That's annoying. Really annoying. I'll go Octopus here. That wouldn't kill anything, right? Actually, if he pairs it up with Maker Rain, that would potentially kill something. But since I play Octopus here, it could potentially miss. We'll see. So he price by Victor, so I guess he's trying to kill Victor here. And duh. Wait, can he, he can't even go make it rain because he already used the price fight, so that's hilarious. I'll go Octopus here again. Because, oh, unless he, oh, he doesn't have a one cost spell, so that's good. Um, wait, another Icon Boros? I think I'll just get another Rip Tyrex. Right, and no, I think it basically used the smear. Actually, maybe not. Just have freaking pastry as well. Six mana. Oh no, yes, five mana. Um. Might as well. 9 mana I could bolus. Sure. For me it's 2 mana, basically free. I could go my I could go bolus as well, so let's go that. Sure. I actually should have go for that first right then prank so it would also get buffed by Augment. My bad. Acon? Acon, sure. <laughs> get me a second glorious evolution as well, right? That would be epic. Attack, 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 attack. Nah, I don't gotta attack Victor because Victor is basically reducing area on my cards cost by one. It's pretty valuable. Yeah, I'll commit this. Back, you gummit, cat. Bleed for Locking with Jack, surprisingly. I could try to potentially kill Jack here. Like a Python. Oh, train the trade though. Insanely godly. Actually, I get two of them, right? Yeah, because freaking Shuffle was a the one. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill Jack honestly. So, being. Actually, should have picked this. Probably should have picked the spell that forces the opponent to discard their lowest cost card, but it would just discard the pastry or make it rain. I could push for damage with Elusive, so sure, I'll go for that. Could I potentially OTK him? I'll try to look for it. This is not good enough, though. If this is not good enough, I guess I pay Octopus. Right, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't actually won the game there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have won the game there. It wasn't possible. Come on, Glorious Evolution though, with Mirror Mages and Double Rip Type. Ooh, the play Rip Type actually copy itself. Then you basically. It's like 14 cannon, uh, cannon barrages. You only can have like a certain amount of spells and skills on board though, so I think it's like 
9. So he wouldn't actually go to 40. Imagine he could though, that'd be hilarious. He's still letting, letting me have my fun, which is just kind of epic to think about. He's not actually, you know, surrendering. While my, I'm doing just doing the most bullcrap plays in the all <laughs> Oh my god, another one. Bro, insane. Coin? Does I get 3? Oh, I didn't get 1 though. Imagine if I get that refill 3 now. It'd be amazing. Yeah, if I pick this, I actually get free, so I actually refill that, I go back to 3 mana, then I could, you know, do some shenanigans with Trigger Trade as well, so... Yeah, that was just pretty much GG. I just did insanely good turns there just now. Jinx, Darius. Ah, annoying burn. Really annoying burn, actually. 100% con should be nice. You know, 1 drop and a 2 drop and a spell. This on turn 4 is really weak, but, eh, could be worse. At least it's units. Hopefully this doesn't have the 1 cost 3. Ooh, this pass is on turn 1. Weird. I think I'll just pick the pass, I guess. Victor turn 4. It's pretty good that the freaking 2 2 lose him. Uh, Pytos, because I can actually play this turn if I want to. Ooh. Self damage attack? What? Interesting. I won't judge. Delicious. Do this. I'll take one damage, better than two, right? I can just ping it off later. It's fine. I'll play octopus here. Maybe Pokey stick this now so I don't waste mana. We'll see though. Oof, that's annoying. I'll just ping this with Pokey stick for now. Because I would still have two more bank mana so I can go Mystic Shutter this in future turns if I want to go for that. Give the shelf again, time free is a pretty decent combo. We'll see though. And prank as well. This copy is decimate would be hilarious. Play Victor. There's a lot of good keywords in the game to actually get the Victor. Life Steel will be one of them, Challenger will be one of them, King Tech will be one of them. That's annoying. So basically, should ping this right. He could have Nocturne for as well to do 3 damage instead of 2, but that's basically forcing him to play a spell. So, I gotta go for it. If he plays a spell, he might not be able to develop another 2 drop, so that's also pretty good news if he does go for Nocturne over here. I'll be taking 3 damage though, which is, you know, not nice. Goes for that. Interesting play. I guess he has a ping spell for Victor then, huh? A Blade Edge could be pretty problematic for me. Maybe he just decides to go Blade Edge here. Doesn't? Okay. Imagine if Victor gets tough here. Nope. I'm pretty hard to imagine if it doesn't happen, right? Like, tough of regen would be amazing. Okay, that's a turn display. play. Free power up. Boring. Can I just resolve this? Pretty sure I just pass here and see what he goes for. If he develops a unit, then maybe I should develop Augment the Clockling, that's annoying. They'll burn. Yeah, then I resolve this and play Augment the Clockling, the Pythos. Or maybe, maybe Time Trick? See, so he can maybe find another ping spell. Because Augment the Clockling is pretty expensive in and of itself. Oh, the Octopus is also pretty decent. Basically, free and also blocks the 2 1. Sure. Of course, he has House Spider. Why wouldn't he have? I'll pass here. Pretty weird that he's playing an aggro deck and he runs this and House Spider. I'm not gonna judge though. Basically, block you. Block you, ping you, actually maybe block like this. Yeah, I take the least amount of damage. Pass back priority, and go for Shelf Milk in the Trinket Tray basically. Ah, Glorious Evolution, okay. We'll be able to play it on turn 8. Turn 7 won't be able to play it. Jinx, ah, really bad. Oh, it's Octopus. Uh, play the free one, so I can get Spam on the back. Hopefully he doesn't have, the, doesn't have Rummage. I mean, if he has Rummage, he won't be able to even use a Mega Death Racket from Jinx, so... Wow. Should I prank again? Basically wasting mana as well. I already know his cards. Oh wait, maybe we should just get... Maybe I should actually pick get, uh, get excited there so I can potentially kill Jinx. Yeah, I won't be able to kill it just now, but maybe I should have went for it. 
and pass here. I may be should have pranked twice so I can get double get a cut if I can just queue off Jinx, right? There might be a misplay by my part. Mirror Mage though, sure. I guess he's gonna use the Galaxy and discard this card so I can just ping my Nexus for 3 and get to Mega Death Rocket and ping it for 3 again. Really annoying stuff, but it is what it is. <laughs> yep. I can resolve to you. Oh, actually, I can still go Pastry in the Galaxy to do his own Jinx, which is pretty good, I think. Yeah, let's go this. Um, what do I discard? I guess time trick, probably the most useless one here. So this to this, Victor's level, which is, you know, cool. I'm gonna use some Mega Death Rocket, clear my Octopus as well, so I'm most likely just gonna play my Octopus. So I can develop another unit, so he's gonna go to Mega Death Rocket first, yep. And I should actually prank first, because now pranking, I'll be pretty to prank his deck, right? So make another Mystic Shot. His deck most likely gonna run a bunch of spells, so maybe I can get like more ping spells and ping off his unit as well. Which is not that bad of an idea. Pretty mediocre. I guess I pink the uh, pick you, I guess. Always oh, play octopus. Actually, pranking them might be a misplay. That means I won't be able to go. Wait, like does an attack? Okay, sure. Nah, I'm I'm fine. I thought I wouldn't be able to go glorious evolution here, but I would still be able to because I'm exactly ten mana. So let's go for this. Let's have some fun, shall we? He best not be just top picking two decimates and I just lose the game because of that. That'd be pretty sad, not gonna lie. Mystic Shot. Of course. They always have Mystic Shot. Sure. Ooh, this is having one cost one cost highest. It's pretty bad still, but nah, sure. Of course I'm ready. I was hoping to prank some spells, but yeah. Nah, I don't need to play anything. Just hope to just God that he doesn't just top deck any burn spells whatsoever. He immediately top decks Jinx and gets my death on him. I hate this game. I can play. He's gonna play some death on Kill one of my units. I can play Mirror Image to potentially go. Chaosnoise after Aftershock to Jinx. I guess I go for it. It's so stupid how I just said no burn spells and immediately top deck the best burn spell. It's not the best, that's what he would have done that one extra damage, but it was the best in the case because he clears one unit and actually potentially give him another draw next turn, which is so stupid. Gotta go for this basically. Yeah. It gets duplicated because you know they're created by mirror image. So I have three blockers for three units. Yeah, I do promise to discard these two. Probably the most useless one here. To draw four, right? Because it's so created. Bing bang. Bing bong, Victor, pretty good. He's <laughs> level right, 19 or 7, sure. I get two acorns. Ah oh, man, I could've got two Victors. Man. Forgot that creator cards also get duplicated by mirror image. Missed out on two Victors. Do they actually copy? No, it's not. These don't actually copy champions. Imagine if they could though, that'd be insane. We must improve. We must evolve. I could have opened attack there. Actually, would have won there. Wouldn't have won there, but still. The end round, you just roping me at this point, huh? Sure. Just left, bro. What the? You can't just leave after I just play Victor and Mirror Mage and Chris have a shuffle, man.